What's up YouTube? I'm doing an update on the 15 gallon nano tank. Uh, it's like a nano tank no top. Um, so I haven't added anything new since my last video where I showed my Xenia. But um, I just want to let you know how things are going. Um, I cleaned the filter. I cleaned, took it apart, cleaned everything in there uh, two days ago for the first time since I set it up. So uh, it's been over a month. So I give it its first cleaning. I was getting a little, getting a little dirty. Uh, obviously, here's the light, uh, the Kessel A80. Uh, it's a really solid light. So if anybody's thinking about getting it, I would highly recommend it. As a matter of fact, it's so good. That uh, the Xenia that I have has doubled in size, maybe even tripled. It's not uh, pulsing all the way. Uh, it's not as big as it is, or as it can be right now. It's still, uh, I was doing water changes. That's why it's a little bit cloudy in here. I did a water change about 15 minutes ago. So uh, the Xenia is not as big as it can be. It's still a little closed, but it's grown to like two to three times the size and I've only had it for like two weeks which is just crazy so this lights doing a really good job I run it about eight hours a day I think eight to ten somewhere in there it's on a timer and I have it on full intensity because uh, this tanks a little bit on the taller side uh, I don't know the exact height but it's definitely it's taller than a 10 gallon so yeah and uh as far as the color spectrum, uh, I switch. I was having some algae outbreaks uh, pretty bad because when I got this Xenia coral from the store, it had some hair algae on it. So uh, I got really bad hair algae in the tank. So I've been running it on blue light a little bit more because if you didn't know, uh, algae grows best in white and red light. So if you run it on blue, it helps a little bit. So that's what I've been doing. Um, but just to look at it, it looks better. Obviously on YouTube, it doesn't really pick up the blue, but in person, it just looks a lot better. Well, in person, you could see well on both, but on camera, it looks a lot better with the white light. So yeah, I got the hang on the back filter. It's a uh, aqua clear 50. So uh, it's just definitely a strong filter for this tank, which is good. It gets a lot of current cleans the water really well and I got this little it's like a little wave maker here I think oh I know but I was gonna say uh it does 53 gallons an hour that's what I was trying to think and then I got a hundred watt heater and I actually had a problem with it just now uh, while I was doing water changes I forgot I had it heated uh, I had it plugged in and uh, I drained the water lower than I usually do I did a bigger water change and the heater was exposed and after a couple minutes I could smell something burning so I quickly unplugged it I let it cool down and I plugged it back in and I turned it up just to make sure it was working and it started heating so I think it is working but it did melt the plastic a little bit and it did get really hot so that's something you got to be careful with um so yeah that's pretty much everything in the tank I'm running the sand um, so uh, I already had some pre-cycled sand uh, when I set up this tank. So uh, I tried to siphon the sand too, just kind of lightly put it on the top, but uh, it's hard with the sand because it's so fine. So I don't know if I'll do that again, but I did try to suck up some of the fish crap. But you could see there's still a little bit, so I didn't get all of it. It was kind of messy. And uh, I got the two live rocks in here. Um, straight from the ocean. I got a lot of uh, little hermit crabs. I got a lot of snails and then you can see the fire shrimp back there. Sometimes he comes in the front but usually likes to sit back there unless there's food. Uh, there's a snail in the glass. There's like a little algae on him or something. And here's another one. But um, yeah, there's a few snail snails. A big one on the rock. And there's like five crabs in here. So I think I got about five crabs and five snails. Most of them are uh, in the rocks. I can see a couple on the rock here. And there's a couple on the rock here. So I almost feel like I have too many. I think that's why there's a decent amount of poop on the bottom. I think maybe I five snails and five crabs might be too much because this tank's pretty small. 
And uh, yeah, I mentioned I got the Xenia Coral. It's doing great. Um, I've given it a little bit of phytoplankton only a couple times since I've had it. I've had it for I think three weeks and I've given it phytoplankton with a, I forget what it's called, the thing that squirts it, the syringe, um, that thing. And uh, I've given it some, I, I think about four times, maybe five. And uh, I've tried to pour like mysis and brine shrimp juice on it, so it's doing really good. It's grown a lot. This is really small when I got it. And uh, the feather duster's great. I've been giving it a little bit of phytoplankton too. Same stuff. They eat the same stuff. So, and then uh, they're acting a little shy because they just did a water change, I guess. But uh, I got the two clownfish here. The one the little bigger is the female, and then. Uh, they're pretty close in size the one's a little bit bigger you could tell in person i got the two clowns they're still babies and then i got the three bengai cardinals there's two back there and one up there usually uh they're more active but i guess uh with the water changing it being so late at night right now uh they're used to sleeping so maybe that has a an effect but yeah i just wanted to do an update so uh everything's doing good uh you can see uh, it's kind of hard to see with the lights, but you could see uh, is the ceiling that shimmer effect looks cool. It looks better in person. Um, yeah, everything's doing good, and uh, hopefully the heater's okay. I want to make sure it is before I go to bed. And uh, I'm thinking about getting another coral or two. Uh, if you have any suggestions, you could comment below. Probably in the next couple weeks, I'll. Uh, I don't know what to get though, because uh, a lot of corals grow so big so fast. I want to get something small. I was thinking maybe a leather coral and then uh, maybe like one hard coral. So I'll see. But uh, yep. Thanks for watching.